collective nouns. These can produce some problems for us when we're matching them up with verbs. So what's a collective noun? Well, a collective noun is when we take perhaps a group of spectators, so many individuals, and we call them a crowd. So we refer to them as one body of people, and actually the word becomes singular. It's a crowd. Or we could take the guitar and bass players, and we could group them together into talking about the rhythm section. And all of a sudden, that unit is considered singular. It's not plural, many people. It's a singular unit. So if we're to match these up correctly, the crowd roars. We need a singular verb to match the singular noun. But I would say the spectators roar, because many people roar. The band, uh, what does the band do? The band rocks. Because a band is a group of people that is now referred to in the singular, we need a singular verb. We could say the rhythm section grooves, because we've created a singular noun here. But we would say the guitar and bass players groove. So how can you double check that you've matched the right singular or plural in your noun and the right singular or plural in your verb? Well, I think just for a moment, take the out and replace it with a. A crowd roars. That works fine. A spectator's roar. It doesn't make sense. You can't have a with something that's plural. A spectator's. So that means you know that this is plural. A band rocks. Yeah, sure, you can say a band, so that's fine. A rhythm section, that's fine. But you can't say a guitar and bass players, plural. That doesn't work. So you know that this noun or group of words that has become a noun, guitar and bass players, is plural. So if it's plural, you'll tend to drop the S off your verb. You see, the singular ones have the S after them. A band rocks, grooves. As soon as we have a plural here, the S drops off. It's almost like the S moves, doesn't it? To the noun side of things and comes off the verb. So that's the idea of collective nouns. and Just match them up with verbs with a bit of care.